Hi dear friends, welcome back. Today I start with the P controller. Okay, the wait a minute. Here we go. The P controller. What is the P controller? Actually, the transfer function of the controller. This controller is is nothing but only constant K P. Okay. Now, by one example, I'll show you how the P controller is going to control the system. Let's take the GS. Okay. And you know very well how the circuitry will be. Again and again, I will not run the circuit. You know the GS will be there before that the controller and the closed loop control system. Oh, okay. So GS I'm taking. That is A is A plus ten. Here is my GS. Okay. Now let's find out the closed loop control system. CLTF the closed loop control system of, of this on the I need the zeta and omega value only so it'll form the characteristic equation it will be a square plus 10s plus 1 equal to 0 isn't it just compare it what is the omega omega n is 1 isn't it if omega is 1 so 2 zeta omega n equal to 10 given zeta equal to 5 this is the over damped system if you are taking this system simply this system if the over damped system having zeta value is 5 and omega n is 1 agree now now i'm going to manipulate something when i'll add this into the system the p controller my resultant you know the OLTF open loop transfer function will become like this. I hope you all will be agree with me, isn't it? You introduce KP in the circuit, you know very well how is the circuit. Okay, and uh, so this is the circuit. Now let's find out the closed loop transfer function. Again, you will give the omega n and zeta with the help of characteristic equation that is a square plus 10s plus KP. Isn't it equal to zero? Now omega n is nothing but under root of kp. So two del omega n is equal to ten. So zeta is nothing but by this equation now your zeta is c. It's five divided by omega n, isn't it? And uh, that is five divided by kp. Now these two things in your hand, omega. What is zeta? Everything is in your in your hand. Okay, this is I'm, I'm sorry, omega n is the root kp, so root kp will come here. Okay, so you can control the system transient parameters or not. This zeta, if you will keep zeta equal to one, it will be critical. We'll keep zeta in the range of zero to one, it will be under dim system. Zeta greater than one is over dim. So system is already over dim. Now you can if you want. You can make it under them. You can make it uh, critically them. Why? Because everything is depends on KP, and this KP is in your hand. Check your hands, please. Is there any KP? Yes, there is a KP. So you can change the system, isn't it? Now, if you'll keep, if you'll keep this KP equal to hundred, let's suppose omega n will be ten or not. If omega n is ten. So here I'll come and uh, your zeta, your zeta will become 0.5. System is become under damp system. Okay, when you will keep zeta equal to 25, your system will become critically damped. I'm extremely sorry, this is K, KP. If you will keep KP equal to 25, you will get zeta equal to 1 critically damped system, under damped system, over damped system. So whatever you want, you can do. It's your choice. Okay. So can I say to change the? I can use the P controller to change the transient performance as per the requirement. Can I say this point? Yes. So note down this. Here are the points. The P control is used to change the transient performance of the system. Yes. Now, now 
by this we can't remove the complete error in the system this is the point or i can say the disadvantage by this we can't remove the complete error in the system we are not talking about the error error elimination and all so we cannot remove this actually actually the point is you know when the kp is increases let me take highlighter when the kp is increases we are increasing the kp first you have taken the 25 then 100 and you have seen the zeta value decreases isn't it as kp increases to get the better transient performance the zeta value is going to decrease hence percentage of your mp increase or not if your zeta is going to decrease definitely your percentage of mp is going to increase you know the formula e to the power minus zeta and pi and all isn't it so your zeta is going to increase or de sorry decrease your mp is going to increase and system becomes more oscillatory why because your zeta is moving towards zero at zeta equal to zero the system is complete oscillatory so if your system is becoming more oscillatory it means less relatively stable okay is it clear to you so this is about the p controller now let's come to the integral controller so integral controller now what is the transfer function of the integral controller we have seen earlier it first you are adding one pole at origin isn't it this is your the transfer function of the integral control okay now now again i'll take the example suppose you have initially you have gs given s s plus 10 okay and let's take the feedback is unity let's find out the transfer for, oh, sorry the uh, rh uh, characteristic equation it will be s square plus 10 plus 1 this system is stable if you'll find out you'll have no poles in rh plane definitely it will be stable now what you are doing you know you are adding this gcs into the system and this is the new uh, I'm writing here let's take it new means after adding this so the system will become like this s square s plus 10 and the hs is 1 here okay now let's find out let's find out the uh, rh or characteristic equation that, that will be s cube plus 10 s square plus k i what is missing s to the power 0 term is missing definitely 100 percent this system will be unstable system so here the stability is going to compromise if you will add the integral controller into the system what will happen the type of the system will increase or not tell me you are adding pole at origin the type of the system is going to increase and for this steady state error will be decreased okay if the type of the system is increased definitely the steady state error of the system will decrease but but we are going to compromise with stability your stability on a stake now okay if you are adding the k uh, sorry integral controller definitely the type of the system is going to increase the steady state error is going to decrease this is the this is the main point related to the integral that we are adding the integral control into the system to reduce the steady state error but when you are doing like this your stability is going to affect it and we have seen here by adding this ki your system is becoming unstable system okay so the point is when we'll use the integral controller if your system is affected by adding this the stability is on the stake then when i'll use this so the point is before using integral controller we require to check the system stability if the system is not affected means system stability is not affected then only we use the integral controller into the system 
okay friends otherwise will not use the integral controller in the examination for the ies people why or the what is the implication of the integral controller into the system the answer is it will reduce the steady state error we know that when type increases steady state error decreases check it in the second unit we have seen in the time domain specification the relation between the type and input steady state error and all please check there and confirm yourself okay so integral controller is going to affect the stability and stability is the foremost point to cover with means if you are designing some system the system should be stable system so after this we are discussing about the derivative controller so derivative controller also called the rate controller the transfer function of this is nothing but kds means you are adding single zero at origin okay so when you will add single zero at origin what will happen in the system see your type of the system is going to decrease when type is going to decrease your stability is going to increase or improved your stability is going to increase but what about steady state error steady state error also going to increase now this is also the valid point that you are not looking for the system whose error is high the steady state error is high the stability is okay but other factor which is affecting the system is the steady state error isn't it so this is also undesirable thing this is the transfer function and the best example is uh, of the you know derivative controller is the tachometer tachometer you know very well it is used to measure the angular you know the velocity here it is ks ks is the transfer function of the tachometer this point is very important for the ies four or five times we have question based on this only okay so the valid point is when you added the derivative controller into the system one zero will add at origin hence the type of system will be decreased as type is decreased the stability increased or improved but steady state error is also increased that means system become less accurate now here the accuracy is on a stake isn't it the errors are increasing means accuracy is decreasing or not so here who is the mistake accuracy okay initially in the integral controller it was affecting your stability so you were thinking that you have to design the system which will not affect the stability okay so in the integral controller the stability was on the stake here accuracy on the stake so again you need to reconsider yourself now in this question i am not taking the example but if you want let's take gs equal to a square and a plus 10 and then find out the new gs by adding this kds okay i will do for you a plus 10 find out this stability will be improved and whatever we discussed earlier everything you will get here so this is also we can not use so the next one is the pi controller next one is the pi controller and in the pi controller also we call this the leg controller in this the transfer function is kp plus k i by s this is your transfer function or i can write like this s k p plus k i divided by s so here single pole at origin and zero also you are adding into the system you are adding pole as well as zero into the system so what will be the effect of this c here the type is going to increase okay when type is going to increase 
your steady state error is going to decrease when type is going to increase your stability is decreased or affected isn't it but here we are adding the zero also whenever we add the zero into the system it will always improve the stability so by adding this zero stability will improve why because adding zero adding single zero the stability will be increased so when the type is going to increase the stability is decreased when the when zero extra zero is coming into the system system is going to increase so increase decrease they will cancel to each other so it will be neutral okay so what it means the stability is not going to affect it will be unaffected the stability will unaffected so the error will be decreased steady or uh, stability is unaffected means this is okay that's why we uh, so many times we use in the system pi controller okay when we use the pi controller when we are looking for the error reduction it will reduce the error this is the most important point related to the steady state error oh sorry the you know the pi controller so the point is when error is going to decrease the accuracy is going to increase accuracy is going to increase so it is a very accurate pi is the very accurate so can i say the pi controller added one pole at origin hence type increases as type increases the steady state error decreases isn't it now the pi controller added one finite zero in the lhs which avoid the effect on stability who is going to make this stability unaffected addition of zero okay now again you can take example and you can check it okay friends now now i have three more points please note down the first one is the pi controller is low pass filter hence noise is filtered out it is low pass filter so noise is filtered out noise out so this is lpf also low pass filter okay now what is the effect on bandwidth so this is the lpf definitely the bandwidth is going to reduce the transient time is going to increase see if this is lpf and you know very well the bandwidth of lps is going to decrease when bandwidth is going to decrease the rise time is going to increase when rise time is going to increase the system is becoming more slow isn't it so like this okay and also two things are going to happen here the damping is going to here increase the damping is going to increase so mp is going to decrease into the system okay now i'll come to the pd controller here is the pd controller so in the pd controller the transfer function is c uh, gcs equal to kds plus kp so here you are adding single zero if you are single zero your type is what about type your type is unaffected unaffected means you are not adding any uh pole at origin so type is unaffected so type is unaffected what will happen with the steady state error it will also unaffected isn't it but what about the stability stability is going to increase why because because zero system zero you are adding zero into the system it will increase your stability so we can use the pd controller into the system because it will 
increase the stability so where we need the stability problems or we are facing with the stability problem of the system we'll use the pd controller so what are the point pd controller added finite zero in the lhs hence the stability is going to increase pd controller do not change the type hence no change in the steady state error okay friends so this is the pd controller now if you want to check it let's take a square a plus 10 and after adding the pd controller in the system kp plus kds divide by a square a plus 10 now check it frame the characteristic equation and check the stability and error also so in the pi controller and pd controller one thing is become constant that is here see the stability is unaffected error is going to de decrease okay acha hai okay chalega see pi controller the steady state error is going to decrease but stability is constant lekin kitna acha hota if your error is going to decrease and your stability is going to increase isn't it in the case of pi this is not possible this is okay this is not possible in the pd controller the st steady state error is constant means not affected stability is going to increase kitna acha hota if your steady state error is going to decrease okay so we have one solution for all this problem and that is pid controller pid controller here the format is kp plus ki by s plus kds so let's find out the transfer function it will be s square kd plus ki plus kps divide by s see observe this carefully you are adding one power at origin your type is going to increase when your type is going to increase your steady state error is going to decrease bahut acha okay now what about the stability stability is going to decrease why because of the type increment okay but stability is going to improve because of single zero okay so here the stability is unaffected neutral this is the case of neutral okay now you are adding two zeros into the system again because of the second zero you are adding into the system your stability is going to improved or not so ultimately the grand total of all this the stability is increased so ultimately for this system the steady state error is going to decrease the stability is going to increase wah maza aa gaya kya system hai isn't it so listen the points carefully the pid controller is mainly used to decrease the steady state error and increase the system stability the transfer function of the pid controller you know very well now the point is the pid con uh, controller added one finite pole at the origin hence type increases type increases the steady state error decreases added two finite zeros in the lhs one zero avoid the effect on stability yes we have seen and another zero increase the stability so friends this is the end of the controller system today sorry this is also the end of our control system i have finished all units okay friends so i have done my part now it's your turn you have to start practicing you have to score well in the gate examination though this is not my last class so i'm not considering this class as a mirror discussion in the last class i'll come with the mirror discussion 
so till now all units are completed but again i'll come with the new video with miscellaneous topics i'll have i have to cover some some very you know important topics some controversial topics they are not coming in the examination uh, but some of the topics will be yes whatever i'm going to consider but some of the topics are rare but uh, very confusing among the students so i'll cover in the last unit of the control system that is the miscellaneous topics unit okay so till now officially the control system syllabus is over whatever the remaining portion is there i'll cover in the miscellaneous topics so we'll meet in the next class okay friends subscribe to get matic and you can find us on the facebook we'll meet till then take care and bye